Six months ago, I started playing World of Warcraft, Ooh. and in the short time I've been in Azeroth, I've learned to kill things, loot things, buy things, and die. Buy Allah. things? I th but he wasn't on the store. What? But through all this, I think I finally gained an at least elementary knowledge of this almost 20-year-old game. You've been removed from the group. Yeah, I think he learned exactly what it's like being a new player in World of Warcraft. So here is my review of my experience so far in World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. Dude, that dungeon was so good. I like that dungeon a lot. With things like turning to a Beyblade, riding dragons, fighting yeah. your way through hordes of enemies and dungeons, and playing Pokemon. Ooh. As someone who hasn't really played any MMOs, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I did not expect this. Really? You didn't expect this? Why not? <clears throat> you have a lot of options for what race and class you want to be, uh -huh. and I had chosen this underbite warrior to be my vessel for eventual mass rad destruction. Ooh. My first step was learning the controls, which involved me pressing almost every button on my keyboard to find something like my inventory. After that was yeah. the combat system. My combat style was pretty straightforward. If the button glowed, I pressed button. Just button mashing my way through any form of combat. And over Great, so it's just like an average player. Time, I eventually learned what order to press the buttons. And eventually you gain access to mm -hmm. a skill tree where you can choose skills and abilities that fit in with your playstyle. But keep in mind, uh, I said this before, I'll say it again. Uh, the new skill trees for WoW are an unironic W. I think they're very well designed. I like them a lot. I think the people who made them should make everything else in the game. Maybe the game would be good again. I really like this. I really, really like the new skill trees. I think they're great. Playstyle, but despite my keyboard fearing for its life whenever I saw my phone, I found the combat actually quite enjoyable. Maybe it was because of the class I chose, but there was just something yeah, satisfying a about becoming a Beyblade and swinging around this big ass sword and demolishing dinosaurs. And now, you might think that after a while this could get repetitive, but the no, game manages to offset this by done increasing the difficulty years. of the monsters as you progress. Eventually, bosses and monsters have specific mechanics that you have to learn, but fighting monsters and leveling isn't mm -hmm. the only thing to do. There are different mini games like this one where you have to collect resources to upgrade a fort. Oh. Oh, that one. That's a ooh. Made the opposing fort or PvP, which I did try, but would pretty much die instantly. Or if you want yeah. to do something a bit more chill, there are skills to learn like mining, smithing, collecting herbs, cooking, or fishing. Or sometimes you might stumble across a group of people you get fighting a huge world you boss. Get and wow, everything out. scales to your level, and you can always progress with your friends even if they are like 20 levels ahead of you. The loot also scales to your level, yeah. and you are almost always throwing out your new sword or armor within a few hours. But personally, the most fun I've had in this game so far is when I moved on to an expansion called Spiral Dragonflight. Oh, this is where it gets fun. You get your own <laughs> dragon. And honestly, this was super cool. It actually, I think the leveling experience in Dragonflight is the best leveling experience Blizzard has ever done. Now, if you are more of an optimization type player, you probably might prefer Warlords of Draenor, but I think it's either number one or number two. And I'm not really counting Classic WoW because like Classic WoW is just like such a different beast. But I think it's better than Wrath. I think it's better than BC. It was better than Cataclysm, better than Mists of Pandaria, better than Legion, better than BFA, and better than Shadowlands. I think it was better than all of those. It feels like a completely different game. My favorite part, though, is the flying. It's super satisfying. But and you, you can even do these leveling, missions totally where you fly understand. through these rigs. Where you fly through these rigs, and you can customize your way. dragon. But this is only the tip Maybe of the iceberg of all the content that has been released over the past two decades. Now here comes the story of the game. Well, the one I did anyway. Ooh. Ooh. What is the story? Isn't that satisfying? Oh my god. He's while a lot of quests are copy and paste, collect 10 swamp hippo toenails, which after a while does start to feel tedious and repetitive, and while in the beginning I was reading every single quest, after a while I did start to skip over reading them, but when it comes to the main storyline of the expansions, or this quest about some giant sword that apparently nobody can see, this is where it redeems itself. My only problem is that I hadn't played okay. the older expansions, and the game forced me into one of the more recent ones called Battle of Azeroth, which means that I didn't know anything about the story that had happened beforehand and the game never really catches you up on the details either i mean like i arrived in my tutorial gear and i was already being called the hero of azeroth and being thanked for saving some princess which for me never happened but even just a quick yeah, overview i of could the see that beforehand probably would have saved me a i think that's a really good point i mean like the lore in the game does matter it's not the most important thing but yeah 
a lot of confusion about what was happening. I carried on and actually found myself getting interested in the story. And this uh -huh. is where the game introduces more unique mechanics, a more cohesive story and interesting characters. I really liked this character who was the lower of death, Buon Samdi. Even though he- Fuck yeah. He would always talk shit to me after I died. Well, yeah. look at you, the mighty hero. Fuck yeah. <laughs> bon Swampy, I think, is probably one of the best characters, new characters they've added into WoW. But probably the most important part about quests in WoW is that it gives you some incentive to actually explore the world worlds and it is huge like yeah. there's so much to explore i mean i did this one quest for this dwarf dude and it took me all over the map some of the coolest looking places i had seen so far it is so easy to get lost explore for hours in this game sometimes i would take a break from leveling and questing just to go and explore new places all over the map i don't know why but my personal favorites were the swamp looking place with this big toad and the home of the cow people i need to yeah i mean some of the original like classic zones i really uh, dude I liked how in Dragonflight, you know, like the Omaran Plains has like kind of the same vibe as this. Like it's not the same, but it's close. And uh, Azur Span is also really big. I wish that they got back into like just making really, really big zones. And like every single square foot of the zone doesn't need to be a quest objective. Just make the zones really big. And just like make it feel like an actual world. I'd like that a lot. I, think they I need did to that play the older expansions to find out why exactly I am the hero of Azeroth, but after playing and enjoying this expansion, because you spent which $15. some people seem to rate quite low in comparison to some others, I'm excited mm -hmm. to see what more the story of this game has to offer. So, after playing for these few months, I got thinking... I think most people agreed like that the Dragonflight or BFA questing, I mean, was pretty good. Like, I think the questing experience was okay. The only, the only thing that was bad about it is, like, a lot of people that played Legion, like, you, you lost a lot of, like, your legendary powers and, like, your set bonuses and shit, and, like, that felt really bad. What's the goal in this game? There doesn't seem to be any specific ending because they just keep releasing new expansions to continue the story. So how are people playing this for almost two decades and still finding enjoyment? I know that some people try to get rare mounts. <laughs> Some people just farm raids and dungeons, some play solely for oh nostalgia. Hey guys, let's do this! Leroy! Some do this. You got a tight little man pussy on you, don't you? Oh my god. Oh, it stinks. Nice and good. But I think what makes the game fun is the people you play with. The game basically forces you to find people to help you progress through the game, and in doing so, you meet some people who you end up playing with almost all of the time. While obviously there are some grumpy spoons out there who get angry at you for being new to the game, the yeah. majority of people are actually super cool, really? and they seem really happy that people are just now starting to play the game. People are always wanting to teach me new things, help me through dungeons, and show me around to some of their favorite places. One time, I came across these two players, and we just started dancing for some reason. They then invited me to their group and asked if I wanted to join them on a quest they were about to do. They also helped me out with some questions I had like where to find rocks for this mining skill I had just unlocked. And as I progressed further into the game, I eventually created my own guild and found my own small community of cool people. Ooh. Some of the stories I've heard from people are how they've met their wife or made life friends from WoW. But even though I'm really enjoying the game, sometimes it does feel like I'm watching a movie after missing the first and most important half. And after hearing these stories, it feels like maybe I missed out on the reason why so many people love the game in the first place. But hey. Yeah, I, I definitely like, I really kind of like this video because it's not like a doom and gloom or like a negative video. It's like kind of this guy actually having like really cool spontaneous interactions with other people in the game. It's actually really cool. Like I, I would, uh, I, I, I hope that, I, I hope he tries out classic WoW. I, I think you should try out classic WoW, and like that way you don't start on like episode sixteen. You start on episode one. Everybody's seen episode one, and they know all the dialogue for it. And if you don't know what scene comes next, you're kicked out of the raid. But you know, it's still episode one know what the golden days are until you're in them right and maybe i'm in mine right now so should you try well absolutely especially if you can get friends to join yeah you. this is awesome not, no stress i'm sure you'll find some along the way so my final rating and i think I'm also like didn't he play I, it looks like he played this game on an rp server and i think that probably makes a big difference too i unironically think that rp servers are probably more fun to play wow in give world of warcraft a also should i play wow classic absolutely yeah, more friendly for sure. Yeah, I mean, like, WoW Classic has, like, its own problems, but, uh, 
you know, I, I definitely think like uh, like Classic WoW, the new season of Mastery, whenever it comes out, whatever they call it, you know, I think that could actually be a lot of fun, man. I mean, WoW content is uh, like, it's a very known entity. Like if you've been playing WoW over the years, you know what to expect out of WoW. Everything is just like, you get it, you understand it. You know, there's not anything new or crazy or anything like it's the same pattern. And I think that really like what he's saying uh, is like a lot of people would always ask like, oh, is it too late to get into WoW? And I, I do, as I said, I think the game does need a full reset. I've said it many, many times, but you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'd like to see that happen. What do you mean a full reset? I mean, they reset the game. They, res they remove like all of everybody's items and like stats and like talents and like mounts and everything. And they reset the game back to like a uh, starting point for everybody. Yeah, like uh, Azeroth Reborn, exactly.